Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video. This is going to be a two-parter. This is my Truth to Consequences video. Okay, first off, why am I wearing the damn jacket in the truck? I started trying to record this video, trying to get everything into one video, and the video, no matter how many times I reset my phone, change the settings on the phone to max memory, it will only let me record 21 minutes, and then it shuts off. No matter what I do. It's the internal, I have a Motorola. Because that's the only thing they had at the time. But it was cheaper and it works until I can get things going. It still works fine. It works good for this. Now, truth or consequences is basically what this is. I made predictions in the preseason. Every game for every team in the American, the Mountain West, the Sun Belt, the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the Pac-12, and the SEC. As well as some single schools that were subscriber requests. Notre Dame, Middle Tennessee, State, and Toledo. What I mean by every game, let me give you an example. Not this season, last season, Tennessee, 2022. I had them losing that year to Florida, Georgia, and Alabama. Well, they beat Florida and Alabama, but they also lost to South Carolina. So that means I got three games wrong, so I went 9-3 and three predicting those games. So that's how that goes. So, that being said, Last season, with all the games for all the, I went 67.5% on my predictions. I wanted to get two-thirds right before I got started. I managed to get it. Can I improve on it this year? Well, we had a little history that happened this year, too, but I'm getting ahead of myself. First things first, we're going to go to the singles. Now, what's going to happen on this, put my pen down, is I'm going to go through the first one and list every game I made predictions on. And then I'm just going to tell you the games I got wrong. Once you see how it's done, I'm just going to tell you the games I got wrong. Because I'd have to do like a 55-parter if I had to do all of this. I mean, one for every conference. Okay. Notre Dame. Had them going 9-3. and three. I, had a, I predict them beating Navy, beating Tennessee State, beating NC State, beating Central Michigan, losing to Ohio State, beating Duke, beating Louisville, losing to USC, beating Pitt, losing to Clemson, beating Wake Forest, and beating Stanford. Where did I got wrong? I picked them to beat Louisville, they lost. I had them losing to USC, they won. So I went 10-2 and two predicting Notre Dame. Are you kind of getting how it goes here? All right. Middle Tennessee State, I had them going 7-5. and five. What I screw up, I had them beating Colorado State, they lost. I had them beating Western Kentucky, they lost. I had them beating Jacksonville State, they lost. I had them losing to Louisiana Tech, they won. I had them beating New Mexico State, they lost. So... That means I went 7-5 predicting this. For Toledo, I had them going 9-3. What did I get wrong? I had them losing to Miami of Ohio. They won. And I had them losing to Eastern Michigan. They won. So I went 10-2 predicting Toledo. So that means of the single schools, Notre Dame, Middle Tennessee State, and Toledo, I went 27-9 making predictions. Now, let's talk about the American. I had Charlotte going 2-10. Where I screw up, I had Georgia State. They had beating Georgia State. They lost. I had them losing to East Carolina. They won. I had them losing to Tulsa. They won. So I went 9-3 picking Charlotte. East Carolina. Oof. Man, I got these guys wrong. I had them going 8-4. I had them beating Marshall. They lost. I had them beating Rice. They lost. I had them beating SMU. They lost. I had them beating Charlotte. They lost. I had them beating Tulane. They lost. I had them losing to Florida Atlantic. They won. I had them beating Navy. They lost. I had them beating Tulsa. They lost. I went 4-8 and eight on East Carolina. Just Florida Atlantic. I had them going 5-7. and seven. What I screw up on, I had them beating Ohio. They lost. I had them losing to South Florida. They won. I had them beating East Carolina. They lost. So I went 9-3 and three on their schedule here. Memphis. Why don't I that back here? If you... Don't believe what I'm doing my predictions. Scroll back in the videos in August. You're going to see icons. I didn't use my face like I normally do for the thumbnail. I did Toledo and Notre Dame's logo in it and each for each conferences. I made preseason predictions right before the start of the season. You can scroll back to the videos in August. You will find them there. So you can go back and follow. If you doubt me, you can go back and check. This is all for the record. For Memphis, I had them going 8-4. and four. Where did I screw up? I had them losing to Boise State. They won. I had them losing to UAB. They won. I had them beating SMU. They lost. So I went 9-3 and three on Memphis. For Navy, I had them going 5-7. and seven. Where I screwed up, one game. I had them beating South Florida. They lost. So I went 11-1 picking Navy. 
nor Texas. I had going six and six. <laughs> I had them pulling off the upset of upsets and beating Cal in San Francisco. They lost. I had them beating Florida National. They lost. I had them losing to Tulsa. They won. So at nine and three on North Texas. Rice I had going five and seven. I had them losing to Houston. They won. How they won that game, I still don't know. I had them beating South Florida. They lost. I had them beating UConn. They lost. I had them losing to Tulsa. They won. So I went seven and five on predictions for Rice. SMU, I had them going eight and four. Where I screw up? Two losses. I had them losing to East Carolina. They won. I had them losing to Memphis. They won. So I went 10 and two on SMU. Temple. Here's the history. Full schedule. Had them beating Akron. Losing to Rutgers. Beat Norfolk State. Lose to Miami. Lose to Tulsa. Lose to UTSA. Lose to North Texas. Lose to SMU. Beat Navy. Lose to South Florida. Lose to UAP. Lose to Memphis. 12 and 0. I got every damn one of them right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Tulane. I had them going 10 and 2. Where I screw up? One game. I had them losing East Carolina on the major upset. They won. So I went 11 and 1 on Tulane. Tulsa I had going six and six. Where I screw up, I had them beating Rice. They lost. Had them beating Charlotte. They lost. Had them beating North Texas. They lost. Had them losing to East Carolina. They won. Make sure that's right. Did I actually have them losing to East Carolina? Because I I wrote it kind of halfway here. It's where you, yeah. I had to lose to Kansas Carolina. They won. So Tulsa went eight and four in predictions. UAB, I had them going six and six. Where I screwed up, I had them beating Louisiana. They lost. I had them beating Memphis. They lost. So they went ten and two in my predictions. South Florida, I had them going four and eight. What happened here? I had them losing to Rice. They won. I had them losing to Navy. They won. I had them beating Florida Atlantic. They lost. I had them losing to UConn. They won. So I went eight and four in South Florida's predictions. And UTSA, I am nine and three. Where did I screw up? I had them beating Army, and they lost. That's the only game. So I went 11-1 and one picking UTSA, which means my total record for the AAC is 128-40. and 40. Not bad. Now for the Mountain West Conference. This is a tear of two halves. This is messed up. <laughs> First half of the season, five games. I'm going 8-4. and four. I am losing, I'm losing to Sam Houston State. They won, and I'm losing to San Jose State. They won, and I'm losing to San Diego State. They won. Three wrong, right? Go in the bye week. Out of the bye week. I had them beating Army. They lost. Had them beating Hawaii. They lost. Had them beating UNLV. They lost. Half and half complete flips. I'm on six and six with Air Force. Boise State had them going nine and three. Where I screw up, I had them beating Central Florida. They lost. I had them losing to San Diego State. They won. I had them beating Colorado State. They lost. I had them beating Fresno State. They lost. So it's seven and five on Boise State. Colorado State, I had going three and nine. Where I screw up, I had Middle Tennessee had losing to Middle Tennessee State. They won. Had them losing to Boise State. They won. Still wonder about that game. Had them losing to San Diego State. They won. Had them beating Hawaii. They lost. So went eight and four on Colorado State. Fresno State, I had them going eight and four. Where I screw up, had them losing to Purdue. They won. Had them losing to Arizona State. They won. Had them beating Wyoming. They lost. Had them losing to Boise State. Making sure I get that right. I think I did that one backwards. Yeah. They won. Had them beating San Diego State. Beating San Jose State, they lost. Had them beating New Mexico, they lost. So I went 6-6 six six with Fresno State. Hawaii had them going 4-9. and nine. Rule about this there for Hawaii and uh, any schools who travel to Hawaii. Hawaii is allowed to schedule a 13th game to offset the travel costs for them leaving the main, leaving the islands to go to the mainland. So they get an extra game to book to cover travel costs. Conversely, if you play a game in Hawaii, you're allowed to schedule an extra game too. But the only one I recovered here was that they did an extra 13th game was Hawaii. I had them going 4-9. and nine. Where I screw up, I had them beating New Mexico. They lost. I had them beating San Jose State. They lost. I had them losing to Nevada. They won. I had them losing to Colorado State. They won. So I went 9-4 and four on Hawaii. On Nevada, I had them going 4-8. and eight. Where I screw up, I had them beating Idaho. They lost. How that happened. I had them beating Texas State. They lost. I had them losing to San Diego State. They won. I had them beating Hawaii. They lost. So I went 8-4 and four on Nevada. For New Mexico, I had them going 3-9, and nine, where I screw up. Had them beating New Mexico State. They lost. 
I had them beating Hawaii, they won. I mean, losing to Hawaii, they won. I had them losing to Fresno State, they won. So they went nine and three on the predictions. San Diego State, I had them going nine and three. <laughs> yeah, that was a misjudgment. I had them beating Boise State, they lost. I had them beating Air Force, they lost. Had them beating Nevada, they lost. Had them beating Utah State, they lost. Had them beating Colorado State, they lost. So I went seven and five on my predictions. San Jose State, I had them beating. I had them going six and six. What happened? I had them beating Air Force. They lost. Had them losing to Hawaii. They won. Had them losing to Fresno State. They won. So I went nine and three with San Jose State. UNLV, I had them going six and six. What happened? I had them losing to Vandy. They won. Still one of the biggest wins UNLV's had in a while. Had them losing to Wyoming. They won. Had them losing to Air Force. They won. They went nine and three in my predictions. Utah State, I had them going five and seven. Where I screw up? I had them losing to San Diego State. Double checking this to make sure. Sometimes I write so fast. It's the reason why you keep the sheets here. Look at the wrong one. Yeah. I had them losing to San Diego State. They won. That was the only game I got wrong. I'm going to double check my things here. Be correct. Losing to San Diego State, they won. So I'm at 11 1 on Utah State's schedule. Wyoming. I had them going 7 5. Where I screw up. Had them losing to Texas Tech. They won. That was how they pulled that one off. And I had them beating UNLV. They lost. So I went 10 2 for the Mountain West. 10 2 for Wyoming. So that means for the Mountain West as a whole, I went 99 and 46. All right, let's talk about the Sun Belt. I have started with the Appalachian State. I had them going eight and four. Where is eight and four? Well, I had them beating Coastal Carolina. They lost. Beating Old Dominion. They lost. And losing to James Madison. They won. So I went nine and three in App State. Coastal Carolina. I'm going nine and three. I had them beating Georgia State, they lost. Had them beating Georgia Southern, they lost. Had them losing to App State, they won. Had them losing to Marshall, they won. Had them beating Army, they lost. Had them beating James Madison, they lost. So, they went 6-6 six and six with Coastal Carolina. Georgia Southern had them going 6-6, six and six, where I screw up. Had them losing to Wisconsin, excuse me, losing to Ball State, they won. Losing to Coastal Carolina, they won. Beating Texas State, they lost. Beating Old Dominion, they lost. So I went eight and four in Georgia Southern. Georgia State, I had them going five and seven. Well, I had them losing to Coastal Carolina, they won. Had them losing to Louisiana, they won. Had them beating App State, they lost. So I went nine and three on Georgia State. For James Madison, I had them going eight and four. Well, they were. I had them losing to Virginia, they won. Big win. Had them losing to Troy, they won. Had them losing to Marshall, they won. Had them beating App State, they lost. Had them losing to Coastal Carolina, they won. So I went. Seven and five on James Madison. Marshall, I had him going six and six. Where I screwed up, I had him losing to East Carolina. They won. Had him losing to Virginia Tech. They won. Had him beating James Madison. They lost. Had him beating Coastal Carolina. They lost. So they had eight and four on Marshall. Old Dominion had him going five, three and nine. Oh boy. Two losses I screwed up on. I had them losing to Southern Miss, they won. I had them losing to Georgia Southern, they won. So 10 and 2 for Old Dominion. Arkansas State. I had them going 5 and 7. Where I screwed up. I had them losing to Say a command. Oh, shut up. I had them losing to Louisiana Monroe. They won. I had them until so they went 11 and 1, excuse me, on Arkansas State. Louisiana had them going 8 and 4. Well, I had them losing to UAB, they won. Had him beating Georgia State, they lost. Had him losing to South Alabama, they won. Had him beating Southern Miss, they lost. So I went 8-4 on Louisiana. South Alabama, I had him losing to Oklahoma State, they won. How? I had him beating Central Michigan, they lost. I had him beating Louisiana, they lost. I had him beating Texas State, they lost. So I went 8-4 on South Alabama. Southern Miss, I had him going 6-6, six six, right? I had them beating Texas State, they lost. Had them beating Old Dominion, they lost. Had them beating App State, they lost. 
Had him beating, losing Louisiana, they won. Had him beating Troy in an upset, they lost. 7-5 for Southern Miss. Texas State had him going 2-10. and ten. <laughs> Where I screw up? Well, five L's. I had five losses that were wins. Had him losing to Baylor, they won. Big win. Had him losing to Nevada, losing to Southern Miss, losing to Georgia Southern, losing to South Alabama, they won all of them. So I went 7-5 and five for Texas State. For Troy, had him going 10-2. and two. Where I screw up? Swap two games. I had him beating James Madison, they lost, and had him losing to Southern Miss in a major upset, and they won. So I went 10-2 and two on Troy. And for Louisiana Monroe, I had him going 2-10, and 10, where I screw up. I flip-flop here, had him losing to Army, they won, and had him beating Arkansas State, they lost. Which puts their total at 118-48. and 48. Let me, it's going to be 118-50, and 50, excuse me, I, can't even, I couldn't even write this right. 118-50. and 50. My goodness. We're into this here. We're 16 minutes in. We got five conferences to go. So, doing all right so far. This is part one. And then it'll be part two. So, part one will be up. I'm recording both these back to back. I'm going to upload part one. Once part one's uploaded, then I'll start downloading part two. I don't want them doing both at the same time. Um, so that way they both don't screw up on me. And part two gets uploaded before part one somehow. So thanks everybody for watching this. This is the, for the predictions part one. Um, if you haven't done it already, please smash the like button. Comment on the video. Tell me what you think about this. Share the video because it does help the channel. And check out the other videos I've done. Please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers slowly but surely in that crawl to get there. We're at, I think, 491. We're almost there. Almost to 500. Um, and uh, if you want to, I'm getting a little more active on X, formerly Twitter. So if you want to, follow me on X. The link for that will be in the description. So thanks, everybody, for watching this video. Um, <laughs> everybody for watching. It's going to be a fun one. Part two, it's going to go through quick. Not as quick. We had a lot more games, so it's going to be blasting through. No precap. I mean, about the explanations for everything. But we'll go through that one right after this. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Be safe. It is cold out there. Be warm. And please, be good to each other.